z-scores give us a way to translate a point from any normal distribution to a point in the standard normal distribution, which has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Once we get the z-score, we can then find the area of the standard normal distribution above or below the z-score. To find this area, we use a z-table, and the value we get within the z-table we can then relate back to the initial normal distribution we started with. So mainly the value of z-scores is to provide a standardized way to relate an infinite combinations of potential normal distributions, means or standard deviations, to the standard normal distribution. We have the z-table for the standard normal distribution, which then allows us to make inferences of all the normal distributions that we start with. For example, say I have the normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10 and I'm asked to find the percentage of the normal distribution below the number 62. Since 62 itself is not 1, 2, or 3 standard deviations away from the mean, in fact it is between 1 and 2 standard deviations above the mean, we are going to find 62's z-score and look it up in the z-table in order to find the answer to this problem. The z-score of 62 can be found by plugging 62, our mean of 50, and our standard deviation of 10 into this formula z equals x minus the mean, all divided by the standard deviation. Plugging them all in, we get 62 minus 50, all divided by 10, which is equal to 12 divided by 10, which equals 1.2. So, positive 1.2 is our z-score for 62 in this problem. Since my z-score is positive, I'll use the positive z-table here. I look down the left side for 1.2, which gives me this row. Our answer will be somewhere in this row. Then I look down the columns until I get to 0 .00. So I get the first column. And so the answer will be at the intersection of the highlighted row and column, which will be 0 0.88493. This tells me that 88.49% of the standard normal distribution falls below z equals 1.2. At the same time, this then also tells us that 88.49% of the normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10 falls below 62. This is exactly what we're looking for. So essentially, we use the z-score in order to find the percent of our distribution below 62 here. And if you need more examples of looking up z-scores on a z-table, check out this video here. Another thing that z-scores tell us is the number of standard deviation a point is from its mean when it's plugged into the z-score formula. For example, say I was asked how many standard deviations away from the mean is 29 in a normal curve with a mean of 34 and a standard deviation of 3. Well, if I plug 29 in for x, 34 in for our mean, and 3 in for the standard deviation, we get z equals 29 minus 34 all over 3, which is equal to negative 5 divided by 3, which equals negative 1.67. So our z-score here is negative 1.67, which tells us that 29 is negative 1.67 standard deviations below the mean. So z-scores are a measurement of how many standard deviations we are away from the mean. If it's positive, it's that's how many positive standard deviations we are above the mean, and if it's negative, that's how many negative standard deviations we are below the mean. In summary, z-scores help us do two things. They allow us to find the percent of the normal curve below or above a number from any normal distribution. It does this by translating it to a point in the standard normal distribution and using a z-table to find our percent. What this means is that I only need the standard normal z-table in order to find these percentages for all possible normal distributions. If we didn't have this process, then we would have to have a unique table of percentages for an infinite number of normal distributions, which would be kind of frustrating. It is much easier to translate any point from any normal curve to the standard normal curve using a z-score and then using the z-table than it is to produce a unique table for every possible combination of means and standard deviations. Also, the z-score itself is a measurement of how many standard deviations a uh, point x is for any normal distribution away from its mean. Just plug the x value of interest, the mean, and the standard deviation into the z-score formula, and then the output, or the z-value we get, tells you how many standard deviations x is away from the mean within that normal curve. I'm Joe, and thanks for spending some time with me.